Curb appeal, it's one of the first things that house hunters notice, but it's also something that might be overlooked when putting your home on the market. So let's welcome Joni Hayes, a real estate advisor with Engel and Volkers, and it's great to see you here. And Joni, let's talk about curb appeal and why it's so important. So curb appeal is kind of an ingenious thing. It, it's, it invites people to come in. Mm -hmm. It shows them the way, maybe, a little taste of how the house will look on the inside, and um, it's welcoming. And we talked about curb appeal and, and that inviting look is so important and can it actually add value to your home? Yes, absolutely. Um, I know that, uh, you know, of course, a, an appraisal uses the value of things that are inside, upgrades and amenities, mm -hmm. but actually the way the house looks from the outside has been proven that if you look at the value of houses that are comparable, mm -hmm. one with really great curb appeal would uh, fetch about 7% additional value. You said 7%? Yes. So mm -hmm. we're talking seven. about, hey, that could pay some of the closing costs? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you've seen this firsthand in your experience? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, and you've also seen the other side of things, Joni. Yes. What happens when you have bad curb appeal? So that's really not very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, most buyers these days, like 90% of them, look online at properties before they even go and see them. And unfortunately, if a house has bad curb appeal, they're probably not going to want to see it. They don't want to waste their time. And so you didn't even have the chance to bring somebody in if the house got overlooked. That's so interesting. So, yeah, that. that folks going online and the social media. So it's important not only just to have curb appeal, but maybe have a good photographer because you want to uh, show that home in the best light, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And the better it looks from the outside, the hope is that that will continue inside and it will be in great condition and look inviting. Mm -hmm. And what's the first thing you tell folks to, to do to really spruce it up? So uh, how can we improve that curb appeal? So when you, you help folks out with that, what do, what do you usually give with advice? So I have a standard list. Uh -huh. The first thing is, of course, make sure that the lawn is trimmed, uh -huh. make sure that the bushes are trimmed, power wash the house, make sure that the front entry looks inviting, add some potted plants, mm -hmm. make sure that it's nice and clean, because if you're going with an agent, that's the first time that the buyer will be really looking around, the agent's working the key, you right. know, the box, and they're looking, so no cobwebs, no anything. <laughs> and then if you have um, porch furniture, add some pillows, make it look great, clean the windows, Yes. put a new doormat down, and the windows, of course, make the house brighter from the inside, so when they get in, there's a benefit there too. And make sure that your mailbox is in good shape, because that's another indication of, oh, these sellers have taken good care of their home, let's see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so all these little things add up, and if you put the work into it, it, it pays off in the long run based on what you've seen. Yes, absolutely, it'll help sell your house. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in this market, uh, you know, it's been topsy-turvy. How do you think we're doing here as we, we head into the fall months? What are you seeing? Are you seeing the market settle down? I know one minute it's a buyer's market, one minute it's a seller's market. Mm -hmm. what, what is your opinion on that? So we have, we have taken a turn. Uh -huh. In April, we had 1,800 properties on the market, and yesterday we had 6,100. Wow. So more than a 300% increase in the inventory and um, greater inventory gives power to the buyers because a new house is not a scarcity then. So we're seeing that um, sellers are beginning to review the numbers that they thought they would get. Certainly they're not losing money. Anybody who's selling a house right now, if they bought it more than two years ago, is making money. Okay. Um, but you know, it's, uh, there's a little bit more power there now to the buyers, which um, I, I think makes life a little more fair. That's true. Mm -hmm. Well, very good. Well, we really appreciate you being on our program here. Thank you. And of course, uh, you now need to make sure to watch Home Connect TV. It's on seven days a week with hundreds of homes for sale across the First Coast.